The colour of their skin, the colour of their hair, the colour of their eyes, how big their shoe size, it doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't matter. What advice would you give to a young person that wants to speak to a family member about a difficult issue such as racism? What advice would I give to a young person? Um, I think dialogue is the most important thing. I think uh, whoever, I think they should, they obviously need to speak about it, mm -hmm. talk about it. I think, and whoever they decide to disclose to, it can be anyone they feel they can trust, I think is really important. Um, I live in Birmingham, so I live in, a, I live in where the film is set. That's my hometown, which is one reason why I loved the book and mm -hmm. was really, really excited to be part of, of the film. And Birmingham is an incredibly multicultural city, and I love it for that. And it's, it's got lots of strengths being a multicultural city, but I think the only way that you get around issues is by um, exposing them mm -hmm. and exposing those people that are saying things and talking about things and having ideas and thoughts that perhaps aren't um, aren't right in today's society. So I would say if, if a young person is having an issue with racism, tell somebody. And what do you think um, adults could learn from young people? An awful lot <laughs> <laughs> is what I think adults can learn from young people. They just get on with it. And I think that's something that adults could really take from young people, is that sense of people are people, and if people are your friends, then that's, th that's who they are. That's the colour of their skin, the colour of their hair, the colour of their eyes, how big their shoe size, it doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't matter. It's just about be taking people for people. Yeah. Um, why do you think film is such a useful tool for breaking down social barriers? Well, I think it's because it's very often film is an eye onto your thoughts. It's, it's a projection sometimes of your thoughts and also a projection of other people's thoughts. So the things that you've got in your mind, you can go and see a film and sometimes it will resonate that way. Mm -hmm. And then other times things that you haven't thought about will be there and it's as clear as day. It's that clear. And so I think it's really important. I think it's important whether you're doing a comedy, whether you're doing a drama or a heavy duty documentary, as long as you've got that, or, or even a, 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 you know, a sci-fi or whatever, if you've got that integrity and, and that determination to, to get a myriad of viewpoints across, it's really important because you can talk about it forever, but to see a picture, particularly a moving image, mm. that's why I think it's important. And I think it's very important, but particularly useful for young people yeah, with film. Because characters can say things that um, maybe you don't hear mm -hmm. in everyday, normal life. So, for example, in, particularly in our film, when people ask me what the film's about, I say very quickly it's about three children that think they uncover a, a terrorist plot. Mm -hmm. And everyone goes, oh. Yeah. <laughs> and I go, no. Actually, it's not that, it's, it's the other way around. Because what we are able to do with the characters that we have, those characters are able to use language that the young people themselves use, but don't necessarily hear, or, or, or know they're not supposed to use. Mm -hmm. So we are able to talk about social issues and breaking down barriers and difference in cultures in a really open way. So yeah. I think particularly film is brilliant to start debates from.